Hey there folks, I am the Mighty Plantain. Thanks for checking out this video. We're looking at a soda again tonight. Now this is um, Hollywood's original Shirley Temple Soda Pop. I've never heard of Hollywood's original before, but came across them at um, Christmas Tree Shop. I figured my kid won't like Shirley Temple, so we'll give this a try. And yes, I know, the Shirley Temple thing is kind of a Kind of a pansy thing for a guy to do, but you know what? She said the soda was really good, so I said I'll review it on the channel because I'm doing a lot of different sodas. You know, in my day, and I don't know if they still do this, but the um, Shirley Temple, you could order a Roy Rogers instead. Uh, maybe it was something my parents made up because I've never heard of it before, and everybody I mentioned it to was surprised, but apparently the Roy Rogers is a Shirley Temple, but it's for a boy. It's the same damn thing. Anyway, 100% uh, caffeine free, very low sodium on this. Mm, carbonated filtered water, pure cane sugar. Oh, so you use pure cane sugar instead of um, high fructose corn syrup. Okay. Citric acid, natural flavors, potassium benzoate, preservative, and red number 40. None of you. Huh! Bottled under the authority of the Shirley Temple Soda Pop Company by Orca Beverage. Hmm. Interesting. So, one of those niche things. What the hell? Oh, I was going to say, don't tell me this isn't a twist top because, one, it's a soda, and two, it was sold at Christmas tree shops. So I would be surprised. Although not terribly surprised if a craft soda had a, um, a pop top that needs a bottle opener. So, no surprise here. It's got a very light pink color. Um, actually, a lighter color than an actual Shirley Temple would. Shirley Temple being, you know, ginger ale, grenadine, and maraschino cherry for garnish, but it definitely has a darker red color than this soda does. <clears throat> Pardon. Kind of a neutral aroma. Not much coming off of it. Not a lot of bubbles coming up out of there either. Okay, okay. There's hints of hints of ginger, hints of cherry. Holy shit! It's been forever since I've had a Roy Rogers, Shirley Temple. But yeah, I haven't had a Shirley Temple since I was old enough to actually drink. And I think I stopped ordering them in junior high at some point. Definitely by high school. I mean, come on, Shirley Temple. It's a neat little thing to let your kids order at the restaurant. They're getting something different, something unusual, and it seems like a cocktail for them. It's fun. Whatever. But based on my memory, this tastes pretty close to what a Shirley Temple would. That's not bad. I mean, I'm not going to buy these on a regular basis, but, you know. If I'm ever feeling nostalgic or in need of something, it's a quick and easy way to do it at home instead of mixing up a whole long, whole cocktail of you know, mocktail. I guess you could call it a mocktail because it's not really alcoholic, so whatever. It's not bad. One of the few decent things I've actually found at a Christmas tree shop. I mean, usually it's just a bunch of ugly shit that you don't want in your house, but... Here and there, you do find some stuff that's kind of neat enough to hang up and some decent kitchen utensils. And once in a while, some food products that are worth checking out. One of the only places in this area that you can regularly find Pocky, something else my kid loves, or the Pepperidge Farm fruit cookies. Hard time tracking those down at the local supermarket. Anyway, um, this is not bad. Probably not something I'm going to go out of my way to get, but I wouldn't turn it down anytime. But 
what do we do? What do we mix with this? Because I usually, you know, during these videos, I will throw something in there, alcoholic, to turn it into a, well, something other than what you thought you were tuning in for, but Shirley Temple, meet the Jägermeister. I had no idea what to throw in here. <clears throat> I didn't have any open bottles of cherry flavored or ginger flavored booze, so screw it. We're just going to totally wreck both of these and um, make whatever you want to call this abomination. Oh, hell. That actually worked out not too bad. <laughs> this is tangy. Slightly herbal. Mm, pardon. It's bringing out some of the ginger flavor in the Shirley Temple and the fruit flavor and somehow mellowing the Jaeger into something <clears throat> totally enjoyable. Damn! Did not see that coming. That's awesome. And I don't know why. <laughs> That's good. That's great. Shit. Um, Shirley Temple Soda and Jägermeister. You know what? I got a whole freezer full of these friggin' things because I got a deal on them through I bought it. Ten bucks for ten mini Meisters at 20 milliliters each. So not too bad. Um, then you take three bucks cash back through Ibotta. I'll post the link to the app down there. I'm not going to go on a long spiel about it, but you should check it out. Um, um, yeah, so seven bucks for ten mini Meisters. And then this stuff, um, I got a bunch of these to get through in the fridge. There's like three, four packs of them. I might have to go back and get more of this soda because... Shooting those isn't bad, but this, this works. Holy shit, that really works. Anyway, um, that's just what I have to say about the Shirley Temple Soda. Hollywood's original Shirley Temple Soda Pop. Again, available at Christmas Tree Shop. I don't know if it's available anywhere else. But hit me up down below in the comments or the email link. I'd love to hear what you have to say about this particular beverage. Or if you've tried the combo and you agree with me, let me know if you agree or disagree on that as well. Um, while you're down there, don't forget to like and share the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, folks, thanks for tuning in. Cheers. Didn't quite get it all in one swallow, but it's down now. Delicious. Weirdly delicious. One. Hey there, folks. I am Mighty Land. God, that was bad. I mean. <laughs>